So the first thing that we're going to do is just review some of the terminology that you learned last year. If you did fairly well on the diagnostic, then you're probably going to be able to kind of fast forward and skip through some parts of this video because you probably already understand a lot of these things. If you didn't do so well on the diagnostic, then you're probably going to want to take a little bit of time just to kind of review what these terms mean. So the first term that comes up is variable. And basically a variable is just a letter and the letter represents a number. The most common variable is x, but there's lots of other ones, and you can even have exponents in your variables, so like x squared or x cubed, those are also variables. The next thing that you have to remember is a term. So in algebra, a term is a number or a variable, or sometimes a combination of numbers and variables put together. Um, so these are some examples, x squared, 4a, 1 half x, 6. The really important thing about terms is to know that terms are separated by an addition or subtraction sign. So for example, if you had 2x plus 4y, that has two terms. 2x is a term and 4y is a term. Likewise, if you had 3xy, that's only one term because there aren't any addition or subtraction signs. So you have to be really careful. It's not how many variables something has. It's how many, um, I, I guess, how many addition and subtraction signs there are. Um, the last thing to make a note of is the um, term algebraic expressions. And this is essentially like a mathematical sentence that includes numbers and variables put together. Um, it's an algebraic equation when it's actually equal to something. So in this example, 3x plus 2y plus 10, there are three terms, and that's an expression. If I wrote 3x plus 2y plus 10 equals 17, then it becomes an algebraic equation. So here's a little bit more terminology. Again, we learned all this last year, but it's just a matter of going through and kind of reviewing it again. So you have something called like terms, and these are really important because you are later on going to learn about combining like terms. And like terms have the same variables raised to the same exponents. It doesn't matter what the number in front is. All that matters is that the variable is the same and that the exponents are the same. So here are just some examples of like terms. If the variables are different, or the variables might be the same, but the exponents are different, then they're called unlike terms. So down here, x and x squared, although they have the same um, variable, they're not to the same exponent, so they're not like terms. The next part gets a little bit tricky because the terms sound very much the same. So you have coefficients and you have constants. A term that has a variable, so something like 2x, will have something called a coefficient. And the coefficient is the number in front of the variable. In this case, the coefficient would be 2. Another example could be negative 3y. In this case, the coefficient would be negative 3. So you have to be really careful with that. The sign is included. A constant is a term that doesn't have any variables. So for example, in the expression 2x plus 5, the constant would be 5. If my expression was 2x minus 5, my constant is now negative 5. So you really have to be careful. The sign goes with it. So negative 5 would be the constant. And the bottom here just has some examples. So 2x minus 4y plus 7. 2 and negative 4 would be the coefficients because those have variables. 7 would be the constant because it doesn't. So constant is a term that never changes. And then 2x, negative 4y, and 7 would be the terms. So basically now is just a chance to practice. Um, I'd like you to pause the video and try this on your own and then restart it and check if you're right. So here the terms are 3x squared, 2x, negative 7, and negative 8x. Double check that you got the signs right. The coefficients are 3, 2, and negative 8. Again, be careful. Negative 7 is not a coefficient, but a constant 
because it doesn't have any letters. And in this case, the variables are x squared and x. So this is another slide that's just a practice slide. So again, try it on your own, pause the video, and then restart. So in this case, we'll pull over, and we see that the variables are x squared, x, y, and x again if you want, or z cubed. You don't have to repeat the x twice, so you can just write that once. And then the coefficients, remember the numbers in front of terms that have letters, 3, negative 5, and 4. So again, watch those signs. And this last one, we have the constants negative 4 and 9. So just double check that you got those right. Common mistake is remembering the signs. Now this last slide is just a chart that you have to complete. Um, and again, I want you to try it yourself and then pause the video and restart it and check if you're right. So in this one, the first one, we have negative 2x squared. Oops, that kind of got cut off a 5x and negative 8. So there are three terms. The variables are x squared and x. The constant is negative 8 and the coefficients are negative 2 and 5. The next one, there are two terms, 3y and 4. The variable is y. The constant is 4 and the coefficient is 3. Now this last one's a little trickier. There is only one term. It is negative 3abc. So be careful with that. There are three variables, however, a, b, and c. Now in this case, there is no number without a letter. So the constant is 0. And the coefficient would be negative 3. Now I know last year when we did this, um, some of you put like none or put an x through the box. I'm okay with that. Um, in high school, they will start to want you to put in 0 for the constant. And also last year with variables, um, often for this one, for example, some of you, we just wrote x. But again, in high school, they're going to want you to separate those. So you can get used to that. I would mark you right either way. So if you put x in this box, I would still mark you right. And if you put a lot, like a, an x through here or wrote none or not applicable here, I would still mark you right. 